to our top story tonight. Prosecutors in the Taylor Parker trial took issue today with defense attorneys suggesting someone else might be responsible for the murder of a new Boston mother and her unborn baby. NBC 6's Donald Britton joins us now live from Bowie County with a wrap on what happened today in court. Donald, good evening. Good evening, Dan. Connie Griffin was back on the stand today after she was interrupted yesterday due to a juror feeling ill. She is the mother of the man prosecutors say Taylor Parker was trying to keep when she killed Reagan Hancock and cut her baby from her womb. She talked about all the ways she tried desperately to convince her son Wade that Taylor was lying about her money and her pregnancy and the two fell out over it. Prosecutors at one point took issue with a line of questioning from the defense that seemed to suggest Wade Griffin might have been involved or at least knew about it. They say Taylor Parker is the one on trial here and no one else. The jury also heard from investigators who connected Taylor Parker to the bomb threat called into the Titus Reg Regional Medical Center on October 5th. That was the first day she was supposed to have her labor induced. Investigators also confirmed that a fire that broke out underneath Wade's home earlier that morning had been set intentionally. Now, jurors heard from several other witnesses detailing their encounters with Taylor Parker. You can find that in-depth coverage on our website at ktlnews.com. The trial is expected to resume in the morning. Reporting in Bowie County, Texas, Donald Britton, NBC6 News.